Under a silver moon, Shadi ventured into the dense forest. The air was thick with anticipation, the sounds of nocturnal creatures surrounding her. She clutched the wooden box Baba Reti had given to her, feeling its weight as a reminder of her mission. Lagos with its numerous lights and sound was alive with the energy of the annual year festival. Shadi Adioye, a marketing executive by day, and an avid photographer by passion, navigated through the bustling streets, a camera capturing every captivating moment. The festival, a celebration of Lagosian heritage, was a vibrant display of traditional your masquerades, drumming, and dancing. Shadi had always felt a deep connection to her culture, and this festival was one of her favorite events of the year. As she moved through the crowd, she was drawn to a small dimly lit tent adorned with intricate patterns and glowing lanterns. Intrigued, she stepped inside, finding an array of artifacts and ancient relics on display. An elderly man, his eyes twinkling with wisdom, greeted her. Welcome, young lady. Are you interested in our history? He asked, his voice deep and warm. Shadi smiled, her curiosity piqued. Yes, very much so. I'm Shadi, by the way. I'm Babariti, he said, nodding kindly. These artifacts tell the story of our ancestors. But there is one story that stands out. He continued pointing to an ancient ornate mirror. The legend of the mysterious lover. Shadi leaned in, fascinated. The mirror's frame was decorated with delicate carvings of mythical creatures and symbols she couldn't quite decipher. Tell me more, she urged. Babariti began the tale his voice taking on a rhythmic, almost hypnotic quality. Many years ago, a young woman named Adaise fell in love with a man she met at this very festival. He was charming and mysterious, and their connection was instant. However, he always disappeared at the stroke of midnight. Adaise discovered that he was a spirit bound to the mirror, cursed to remain hidden in its reflection until true love could find him. Shadi's heart raised as she gazed into the mirror, its surface shimmering under the soft light of the lanterns. Suddenly, she felt a strange pull, as if the mirror was calling to her. She reached out tentatively, her fingers brushing against the cool glass. Be careful, Shadi, Babai Reti warned gently. The mirror is powerful and its magic is real. If you truly feel a connection, you must be prepared for what lies ahead. Shadi nodded, unable to tear her eyes away from the mirror. What happened to Adaize? Babai Reti sighed a hint of sadness in his eyes. Adaize tried to break the curse, but she was not strong enough. Her love was real, but the curse required more than love alone. She disappeared and the mirror was passed down through generations, waiting for the one who could truly break the spell. Shadi's mind buzzed with questions, but before she could ask more, the tent filled with a sudden gust of wind. The lanterns flickered, casting eerie shadows on the wall. Shadi felt a chill run down her spine as the mirror surface seemed to ripple, and for a brief moment she saw a pair of eyes staring back at her, eyes filled with longing and sorrow. Did you see that? She whispered, her voice trembling. Babai Reti nodded slowly. The spirit within the mirror is aware of you now. Be cautious, Shadi. This journey you are about to embark on is not without danger. Shadi took a deep breath, her determination solidifying. I need to know more. How can I break this curse? Babai Reti handed her a small intricately carved wooden box. Inside this box, you will find a map that will lead you to the old shrine in the forest. You must visit the shrine at midnight. There, you will find the answers you seek. Shadi accepted the box, her fingers tracing the carvings. Thank you, Babai Reti. I will do whatever it takes. As she left the tent, the night air felt charged with possibility. Shadi's mind raised with thought of the mysterious man trapped within the mirror and the strange connection she also felt for him. She knew her life was about to change in ways she couldn't yet comprehend. The moon hung high in the sky as Shadi made her way home, her heart pounding with a mix of excitement and fear. The journey ahead was uncertain, but one thing was clear. She was destined to uncover the secrets of the mirror and the mysterious lover within. Days turned into weeks, and Shadi couldn't shake the feeling that something was drawing her back to the festival ground. The encounter with Babai Reti and the ancient mirror had left a lasting impression on her, filling her dreams with images of the mysterious man and the cursed love story. One evening, unable to resist any longer, she returned to the festival grounds. 
her heart pounding with anticipation. The bursting energy of the festival felt different this time as if the air itself was charged with an underworldly presence. Charlene made her way back to Baba Ireti's tent, her steps quickening with every passing moment. As she approached, she saw the old man waiting for her, a knowing smile on his face. You feel it, don't you? Baba Ireti asked, his voice calm yet filled with a sense of urgency. Charlene nodded, her eyes wide with determination. I can't explain it, but I feel connected to the mirror. I need to know more about how to break the curse. Babai Reti's expression softened. The mirror holds the spirit of a lover waiting to be freed. If you truly wish to meet him, you must visit the old shrine in the forest at midnight. There you will find the answers you seek and the path to breaking the curse. That night, under a silver moon, Shadow ventured into the dense forest. The air was thick with anticipation, the sounds of nocturnal creatures surrounding her. She clutched the wooden box Baba Ireti had given to her, feeling its weight as a reminder of her mission. The map inside had led her to a clearing where the ancient shrine stood, its stones covered in moss and vines, illuminated by the soft glow of the moonlight. Shade approached cautiously, her heart pounding in her chest. As the clock struck midnight, the mirror in her hand began to glow. The air shimmered, and before her eyes, a figure emerged from the light, a tall, handsome man with eyes that sparkled like stars. He looked at her with a mixture of hope and sorrow. I am Femi, he said, his voice a soft melody that seemed to echo through the trees. I've waited centuries for someone to free me. Shadow was torn but felt an inexplicable connection to him. Her heart ached for his plight. How can I help you? She asked, her voice trembling with a mix of fear and determination. Femi's gaze softened, filled with gratitude. My spirit was bound by a curse, one that can only be broken by the love of a courageous heart. You must complete this task to prove your love and break the curse. Shade felt a deep sense of purpose. I'll do whatever it takes to free you. Tell me what I must do. Femi nodded, his eyes locking onto hers. The first task is to find the heart stone hidden deep within the forest. It is guarded by the spirits of the ancestors. Only one with a pure heart can retrieve it. Shade took a deep breath, her resolve strengthening. Where do I begin? Femi pointed towards a path leading deeper into the forest. Follow this path. Trust your instincts and your heart. The spirit will guide you if your intentions are true. Shade nodded, her determination unwavering. She began her journey along the path. The forest around her growing darker and more ominous with every step. Thanks for watching today's story to the end. It only means you enjoyed it and love our content. The second part of this video will be released in a few days and you don't want to miss it because it's loaded, intriguing and very interesting. So please subscribe and turn on notification so you will be the first to get notified once we publish the video. Thanks for your support and we don't take it for granted. Remember to leave a comment I would like to read them. And lastly, please like this video. Thanks for the love. See you soon on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.